Welcome to round four. We've won a die roll for the fourth time in a row. And I think this hand is keepable. I don't know what the opponent's playing. But uh, we've got some interaction. Can cast our spells. Looking pretty good. And like I said, I don't know what he's playing. But this is round number four. We're going to figure out if we can break the control deck curse. Or if we're doomed to never succeed playing control ever. And uh, yeah, potentially a turn one piracy charm here. We've got a turn two knowledge. The only deck this is really weak against, obviously post, and uh, maybe it's not that good against Storm. But we'll have to see what he's playing. Hopefully something beatable. And his land is a lot of uh, secluded steps. So it looks like we're facing most likely a mono white deck and these decks are well the games are pretty drawn out there's there's usually not one person who's completely in the lead he's got a loyal cathar turn one and that's actually pretty tough to deal with we do have the spire golem but if he has removal for it then we're kinda hurting Hopefully this Spire Golem will stop him in his tracks. We do have a Preordain, but I'm going to go ahead and, and lay down the Golem here. If he attacks, I'm going to block. He may have a Guardian's Pledge if he plays a land, but otherwise uh, we're going to make the trade. Even if he does have a Bone Splitter, but he's got the Journey, of course. So there goes the Spire Golem. We're going to take two. We've still got plenty of time. Plenty of time. And I don't think he'll have a follow-up because he didn't have a turn one last on turn. Well, he didn't have a one-drop turn one, but he has one now. I think I am just going to charm that. But uh, first, let's preordain and see what we can find. Find an, a Spire Golem and a Serrated Arrows. So I actually want both of these. But we're going to uh, charm. He's faced all blue decks, I, I, it appears. We're going to charm this. We're going to leave up Counterspell. And then uh, next turn we're going to play Spire Golem with Counterspell back up. And I think we'll have a pretty powerful grasp on the game. Especially, especially with that Serrated Arrows. Um, I think he's offering us some kind of trade. But right now we are so far into the game that we're gonna finish it out obviously we're recording this video so we want to finish out the game and he waited till four turns into game one to offer a trade so I'm not willing to to negotiate at this point so he's got another Cathar um, we could let that resolve or we can counter it the the issue is Spire Golem has to stay alive so you know, I think we're going to counter it. He's got four cards in hand. We could counter this, or we can protect the Spire Golem. You know what? I'm going to protect the Spire Golem. And Bone Splitter, I'm actually going to counter. Because that lets him fight through. We'll go ahead and lay this down, and we'll leave up Piracy Charm. We have to decide if we ever want to use that. If he ever, if he journeys this, uh, and we ever draw Echoing Truth, we'll be good. Well, that's something we don't necessarily want to see, but we have Serrated Arrows. I think I'm going to force him to discard at this point. Also going to block this. He might have Righteous Blow is the only trick I can think of. Maybe Sunlance. Um, at this point, we could Piracy Charm that, or he can Piracy Charm his hand. And uh, with the arrows currently, I feel fine Piracy Charming him. Because we can block this all day. We can shoot this down. 
and we're going to be able to start drawing out of it. So we get a squadron hog. I think he's got a second one would be my guess. And here we have the option of playing Delver and leaving open Una's Grace. And I think that's just a little bit better than playing the Arrows. But I, I'm not, not saying by a lot. We're not going to, uh, to attack. We'll let this come through. Probably block this to kill it. Or we block this. But I, I think we block this. Journey to Nowhere number two. All right, well, that makes things a little complicated, certainly. I think we're going to take seven and try and flip the Delver. Um, we could also block this and then start shrinking him. I'm actually going to draw a card first to figure out what we're drawing, and that will help me decide. For instance, if we draw another Spire Golem, we draw another Delver, so I think we're actually going to block here. Then we start Shrinking You, play Delver next, the, the turn after. Yeah, we just need to buy some time here, and we're taking five. So, time is something we're running low on, I think, overall. So here we can do both, and I think we want to do that. He's got one card left. So it's either a, a, a strands or a removal spell, I'd, I'd have to assume, or it's a, a four drop, or it could be another golem of some kind. So now I'm going to start shrinking the golem, I think. At least with one arrow. We could also trade with Cathar between these two resources but uh, I think we're just gonna take four and go to five it's it's pretty tricky situation we're actually in trouble no doubt about it it's got guardian that's okay um, that's not not the end of the world knowledge so we can draw two cards right now um, we can shrink this, we can go to two. Let's go ahead and draw two cards, see what we find. Quicksand, very nice. So we can now kill the Guardian, trade with the Golem, and take two. Uh, we still are not out of the woods, but we also get to Grace. What else would be a better use of? We can block this, shrink the Guardian, block this and quicksand it, then this stays alive shrink the guardian and we take three that's actually pretty good also I think that might be better just because it leaves up a blocker he has another journey to nowhere so I don't even know if we can survive here <sighs> We can survive a turn. I think we gotta kill the uh, what's it called? So let's at least see what we're gonna draw. Okay. I mean, Echoing Truth would get us out of this. I think we got to kill you first and go to one. That leaves us with very few outs, though. But we, we're going to one no matter what we do. So let's go ahead and kill the Guardian. Minus, yeah. I mean, Echoing Truth would be really nice. That's pretty much our best bet. Counterspell is not going to do anything. So let's try and draw Echoing Truth. Delver. Delver actually does not save us. But we got to try it anyway. 
pretty academic here, so if he just attacks, it's game over. Oh, he almost misclicked, but we'll go ahead and concede. And we're going to go to game two. So we have lost every single game one in the history of this entire daily event. Pretty sad. All right, so I want to take out Dispels. They really only hit um, Prismatic Strands and Unmake. I'm pretty sure he's not playing Unmake since he's playing so many of those other spells. The Deep Analysis is also a little slow. And the Deprive is, is not effective enough in the in the early game. Um, so we can bring in this fourth curse, this third arrows, I think those are very good. The Gate Warden, not amazingly impressive in this matchup, especially because they have Javelinier, but we can kill the Javelinier. And I'd love to get in some more Echoing Truths if I could. On the play though, I think having four counter spells is actually pretty nice for us. If we could slip in one Echoing Truth, I'd be pretty happy. Maybe even over a counter spell. Yeah, I think we'll cut one counter spell just for one more echoing truth. And uh, we'll, we'll do it like this. It's a lot of heat, but he's got a lot of threats as well. This is, Like I said, this is a matchup that gets pretty grindy. And uh, we just got to hope to get on, the, on the, the winning end of both of these games. So let's do it. It's going to be really tough. Relic is also something we could bring in, but it's a little narrow. Alright, let's play first. And this hand is good enough. It's not great. Uh, we're going to lead on Delver in case he has a Javelinier. We still have the chance of flipping. But um, we're going to have to draw a little bit more to, to actually get there, which we definitely could. Sunlance, okay. Well, he brought in Sunlance against us. That's very interesting. And now we've just got nothing. I guess we're going to play Gate Warden. I'm not sure. Do we play Gate Warden here? It's good against everything that isn't Javelinier, so let's try it. I mean, I, I don't know for sure that he would have played Sunlance over Javelinier that turn. Bone Splitter. That's going to resolve. Javelin here. Oh man, it is not our day today. I'll tell you that much. Spire Golem's nice. I think we're just going to lay that down. we got nothing else to do. So he's got two things on the board that we really don't like. Bone Splitter is actually pretty tough. And uh, this... It might be Sky Fisher. Well, it looks like Journey to me. He's just deciding. Yep. You got it. And shoot Gate Warden. So we've pretty much just been run out of everything. Oh! Equip. Okay. Well, we got another Spire Golem. So we're not quite out of the woods. But he is going to shoot and then attack me. Well, I don't know if he'll attack me. We'll have to see about that. You know, as long as he is worried about Counterspell, we might be okay. I think he's actually just going to risk it. Poor Sky Fisher is going to resolve. So not looking very great. I mean, I don't think our hand was a mulligan, especially on the play. And Razor Golem. It's just the threats, so man, are just really tough to beat. So we're going to go ahead and draw a card. We'll be able to block something. That's the, uh, that's the good part. It's probably going to end up being the Sky Fisher, though. We're really going to have to dig our way back into this. 
I think the control that curse is uh, striking again. And for one thing, I don't think it's that I, I'm just like a horrible player when I pick up a control deck. It's just I, I'm i not as good being defensive. I'm going to block this, even if he potentially has the uh, Guardian's Pledge. He's got a second one. This is wild. Really wild. So, I mean, the way his hand was set up, he just had everything he needed to deal with us. His last card is obviously Javelinier. We're really running low on ways to win, especially when we're just drawing all these lands. We've really been flooded a lot of these games. Which is surprising me. Quicksand <sighs> doesn't do a lot. I mean, we could draw another quicksand. He's got threatening nine on the board, which will take us to six. Oh, this is rough. All right. Well, I don't really see any way out at this stage. I think we're just done. May I, I guess I should have held that Gate Warden back, but we'd still be in a similar position. I mean, the Gate Warden would be in our hand, which, I mean, right now would actually help us, so I guess that was a mistake. Or, I mean, maybe it wasn't a mistake to play it. It just didn't work out this time. I, I'm not sure. So, here I'm going to block the Sky Hunter. Next turn, we're going to block this and probably be dead. Yup. Yep. I mean, another quicksand, <laughs> speak of the devil, is almost good enough to help us win. So we can double quicksand that. I think he can set it up some way to kill us anyway. All right, so let's think about this. We play the second quicksand. We can double quicksand you, block you. He's still got, I mean, if he just equips right there, but we block you, then we take six. So we have to preordain into something else to save us. Like a curse, another spire golem will work. Uh, so we can actually draw both cards right now. But we can only play one. Because we have to play this quicksand. The spire golem costs one, the grace costs three. So I think we need the Spire Golem now. He equips here. We block the Cathar and the Skyfisher. We kill this. We take five. Then we charm the Javelinier. Okay. Okay, I got it. So, yeah, that's the play. If he draws a removal, we're dead. Etc. But uh, we have to stabilize at one, which is not... Not a good place to be, especially with this stupid bone splitter. I mean, if he puts it on the Skyfisher, we're probably dead. No, nope, he's just coming in like this. All right, so unless I'm mistaken, we're going to block these two. We're actually only going to take three. So I think this mistake is probably wrong unless he's got some trick that kills us. If he just comes in like that, that seems bad. Yeah, he's got to come in pretty hardcore. So we block these two. Will he end up taking two? So what does he have in hand? Why did he leave this back? I'm actually not sure. We killed this. We can double block a Skyfisher at this stage. Then we go to one. 
we can kill this. I mean, we know we're drawing Piracy Charm and one unknown. We kill the most by blocking this, blocking this. But then again, this we can block all day. So maybe we double block the Skyfisher. Kill this, take four. We know we're char hitting Charm on that. It's a tough call. I mean, I really don't know the answer. We can also block this. No, we can't do that. <sighs> so this is going to be the toughest decision of the match, I think. And next turn, he can Bone Splitter a Skyfisher. I think we're going to double block a Skyfisher. I don't know if it's the correct block. We're going to two. Definitely gives us less leeway with what we can do. He orders the blockers. Okay. I mean, that Bone Splitter is a huge problem. Really could use like an Echoing Truth or something to save us. His last card must be really good. We know we're going to 1 because we're going to kill that. So we'll have 2 blockers to his 2 attackers and one life and then he's almost certainly got like one more guy coming up if not squadron hawk which just kills us completely now it's a sky hunter so can we stay alive I'm not sure he's gonna equip yeah it seems like you equip the sky fisher oops just let that go first and then at the end step we'll do this so piracy charm and anything else ooh that actually keeps us in the game so we're both top decking we go to one then we can basically shrink this down and block whatever we want so we're still in the game I mean he could top deck any number of things but we're still in the game currently so I mean all we need him to do is blank and maybe we can get there this is going on this and so forth And his attacks are bad now, I think. Uh, it, it really depends on what he has. Okay. Um, well, this attack signifies maybe he's got another creature to play or something. Uh, but I think I think the blocks remain as is. We kill two of his guys and shrink one down. And he's going to play probably a Squadron Hawk or something. and then we have to draw echoing truth well any creature really okay so another sky fisher is gonna bounce the original one and the cathar coming back puts us dead so we really have to draw something else and we have to chump block so that's pretty bad and that actually keeps us in the game. But we have to chump block one. So, yeah. Uh, the other option is to pump one of them if he doesn't attack with all. But I think we are just going to have to chump block and kill that. And try not to die. But I mean, could he just once whiff and draw a planes would be nice. We've drawn one, two... Three, four, five, 
10 lands and he's drawn four. Yeah, so unfortunately we have to make this play. We're going to lose a Spire Golem. And he's going to have two attackers still. So I actually don't know how we really get out of this anyway. It's pretty much all we can do. And I don't really think we're going to make it. But... You know, we gave it a good run, and I think we're just finished. So I hope you guys enjoyed this match, and we'll talk to you later. Okay, we're getting trash talks. So, sure, we don't want to show him the, uh, the counter spell, because then he knows he can just attack. And we're going to have to bow out. So the control deck curse continues. I'm not that surprised, actually. We're sort of doomed to, uh, to win two and then lose two. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you on the next episode. Please give me your feedback, and we will talk to you guys next time.